My name is Adeline Cady. I was born in New York in 1799. I married my childhood friend Ezekiel Cady in 1818. Ezekiel owned an iron stove factory along with his brother David and brother-in-law William Carley. That is until three years after we married when they sold the factory and the men went into farming. In 1837, Ezekiel and I left New York with eight children, a cow, an iron stove, and a cat in a covered wagon pulled by a team of horses. Now, along the way, they traded in that team of horses for a yoke of oxen. We settled on 240 acres of government land in the southwest corner of Deer Grove, near Ela Road. Our nearest neighbors were in Lake Zurich, Long Grove, and the postal station near Dundee. For the first few weeks after we arrived, we lived in the covered wagon until Ezekiel could build us a shelter from the weather and from the wolves. Then he could take the wagon into Chicago for basic supplies, but he took the flintlock revolver with him. That first night he was gone, a big storm blew up, and I knew without a flintlock I could not start a new fire, so I stood out all night under my husband's great cape and I tended our precious fire. A year after we were arrived, a child was born to us. We named her Clorinda. She was the first white child born in the Palatine area, although there was no Palatine at the time. Ezekiel worked hard. He cut down trees, built a cabin, cut down prairie grass, planted food crops like wheat, barley, Indian corn, potatoes, hay for the horses, and uh, later we put in an apple orchard. We had the first barn in the area, and 10 dairy cows. Uh, we had pigs and sheep. I needed their wool to knit clothing for the children. I made soap. I made candles. And I grew herbs for medicinal purposes. I was known for my medicinal herbs and shared them with the other women. There was no doctor here. They even borrowed our cat to get the mice out of their barns. Later, after a larger house was built, our cabin where Clorinda was born became a schoolhouse. There were other families in Deer Grove, and we needed a schoolhouse. In 1841, our son Wilbert died. We buried him in a quiet corner near the orchard. There was no cemetery here. But then, uh, as other families experienced deaths, they brought their people to be buried here too. In 1856, we deeded the property, the burial property, over to Palatine Township, which had been formed six years earlier. The men in my family were strong, as you can tell by all the work Ezekiel and the boys did. They, were pro they had pride and uh, they were loyal to their nation. My father, Albert Carley, was a veteran of the Revolutionary War. Ezekiel served in the War of 1812 and fought under his cousin at Sackett's Harbor. Three of our boys fought in the Civil War. One did not come back. Arid is buried at Corinth, but we put a stone here to remember him by. Little by little, the children married and moved away, but they gave us a lot of grandchildren. Ezekiel died in 1873. Me, I followed him in 1881.